What's up, everybody? Toby, five old baits. Y'all saw my little short, our molten crawl we made. A local guy hit me up. He saw the video and wanted uh some of these done. Of course, shot Ned. So, bam, they look pretty good. But that's not what the video is about. Just wanted to show it to you. Today, we're going to show you how to uh, make your own swim baits the way that you want them done. We're going to start with. The 3.8 inch rip wrap from Angling AI. And sorry, let me get this plastic going here. Uh, we're gonna pour a shell. Now we're gonna use some of these pearl paints. Oh, these Pearl X powders. Get from Hobby Lobby, a few other places. May even use this uh, hyper shift color. And we're just gonna play with it. We're not, these aren't for anybody. These are basically be for me. So what we're gonna start with, bang, is good, clean, find my thing, plastic. Clear, no bubbles, no nothing. Just Calhouns. We get the fill in color going, but it'll be a while. Just straight, clear plastic. Nothing added to it. We're going to take it. I'm going to pull this down because I really don't like holding this stuff. No more than I have to. And we're just going to pour some into the body. We're going to let it run. The more coverage you get, the better. The more you can paint and do your little details. Like I said, just clear plastic. You want it pretty hot. That way it'll run better. And it is hot, so if y'all hear fan noise, I'm sorry, but man. Of course it's hot outside, but in here is even hotter because I don't really have no, uh, I have to keep the window open and the fan going just for ventilation. And I've got one on me because it's just hot, man. I'm too old to be dealing with that crazy hotness anyway. All right, since these aren't for anybody, we're just going to get a basic clear over it. This does better in these kind of baits. Where you don't have, let me heat this up just a little bit more. Where you don't have uh, like the ripper or something that has like ridges in it, a flatter bait, it works better in. These will be for me. We're going fishing tomorrow anyway, so I'll throw these on as a trailer. On our umbrella rigs, if everything goes as planned, we're going to go tomorrow to try to catch the stripers. this back in here. It's going to need a little bit more nuking in a little bit. Now we're going to hit the other side. Um, again, we're just going to pull that clear plastic. You can use any brand you want. Uh, we're using Calhoun's, of course. And we're not even going to, you can use other things too to help smooth this out to get a better body cavity or whatever. You can use your heat gun and stuff, but we're just playing today. This isn't for an order or anything, so I don't care if they're perfect today. We're just, just showing you things you can do with your bait molds that don't have to be the open pores. I have, I'll show you, but anyway, the four inch, six inch, five inch angling AI open pores are cool, but you can do it also with your injection molds. And it doesn't take quite as long 
to do. Oh, boy, it's hot. God, why can I hold my glove and I can tell it? Mm. Whoa. A little warm, a little warm. Now, we've got those in there, and we're going to find a paintbrush. Uh, I used two, I mean, just a little one and a big one. Big ones for like, if you want to do, we're just going to play around. We're going to do all kind of different sizes, and I mean, not sizes, but different uh, color techniques or whatever. Let's see, I've got a purple, a green, and of course, black. So we can do a, let me find my orange real quick. Oh, leg. So that we can do, oh, I don't see it. We'll take this one. Whatever this is. This is a carbon something. something. Carbon and lava, we'll do that. And this is gold. So, we'll do one of them with the hyper shift because I love the hyper shift. Did you, like I said before, two or three different colors. I'm gonna use the bigger brush because I'm just gonna do one full with the hyper shift. Uh, I believe this one came from Dip Your Car. But you can get these things off of Amazon. Uh, a lot of these companies that sell resin. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut my fan off, I bet, too, because it's gonna be, this little dust is so fine. Let me cut my fan off. Now you're gonna see an old fat man sweat. All right, that's gonna go this way, so we wanna do each bait the same, of course, but. Just dip it in there and we're going to paint it on. Just like you would do if you were just painting a whatever you're painting, you know. And just put it over that clear plastic. Don't know if you can see it because of the glare, but we'll try and get you a better angle here shortly. That'll be on the outside there, so we want to do another one on the outside, the same color. I think I said this one. We'll find out. Like I said, this is just for play. We're not, uh, it's not a customer order or anything. It's just something I wanted to show. Now, the open pores are cool. I do those as well. It's just hard to do it for me. I don't edit anything, really, so I... You don't want to sit here for an hour, I'm sure, and watch a video or something. So, we are painting the little shell that we put in there. You can put it straight to the aluminum if you want to, but I don't do that. Doesn't mean you can't do it. We're going to take some black on this next one. And use our little brush. And let's do a... Uh, let me make sure I got these lined up right. Yeah, all right. I know in my head they sounded great. Or I had the idea of what I wanted. We're gonna take our black and just paint it some little perch patterns. And don't leave a lot loose hanging on it because uh, anytime you go to move anything that extra does just sort of paint it into that plastic must not have got none all right i think i need my glasses sorry i'm old we're gonna put the little bars that you'll see on a perch blow off any excess You can get as detailed as you want or not. And we're just gonna fill it with a uh, plastic that we used for the last video, the molten crawl. I'm just gonna use that black with blue flake and fill these things. Um, technically, on certain colors, black in behind it is great because it shows, especially with them, uh, the powders I was talking about, the. Uh, Hyper shift colors. 
the black just brings them out a little bit more. Uh, some of your other ones, you may want to put white in behind it to give it a, a backing that'll make it look maybe not as strong. But you can go however you want. These aren't going to be my prettiest because I'm sort of in a hurry. Don't want to keep y'all waiting all day. We'll just put our little bars on there. We're going to go back. I couldn't find my orange quickly, so we're going to use this reddish looking color where I would normally put orange up at the front, more like a perch. We'll just use this reddish color. Like I said, these aren't for anybody. They don't have to be perfect. I would take my time a whole lot better and make them really nice if they were for somebody. It's good enough for that. We just added that red. Normally I put orange there. So you got your bars, you got that. And for that, next I would go back with uh, a green. We'll just use this apple green. And you want a good bit of it because you're gonna fill in in between the, uh, the black bars that you put in there. And again, don't grade me on these because we're just having fun. Doing something different. Doing this is like anything else. Uh, you'll get to where it's like, ah, more green pumpkin or whatever, you know. But uh, so every now and then it's cool just to uh, change things up a little bit. Again, put some more green in there. Yeah, I probably should have got my glasses. Getting old, you get older, man. Then my eyeballs go quick. All right, just a generic, again, little perch pattern. And for this next one, we'll just do, um, I, I'll do these in mullet. If I'm going to the coast, I'll draw the little mullet on there and then shoot them in. I'm not planning on going there, so unfortunately I want to, but let's clean that up. Let's just do some big ones just to get it done. Put a little purple. Color it in on the bar or where oh this never mind it's gonna be pretty big. Oh I got a lot on that brush. Ugh. So you gotta be careful. Anyway, it's gonna brush in the whole colors just so the video isn't too long. Again, get the excess out. But make sure it's brushed in and you just don't have that big loose powder sitting there. Just brush it in. It'll stick, it'll hold, it'll do everything you want it to do. You can draw whatever patterns you want. Uh, you can do your little kill dots for like a shad. I will do that real quick. You can also do your kill dots with just plastic. Uh, get hot plastic, put it on something, a little rod or something like that and put your kill dot in there. Well, I'm doing that and uh, this kill dot's not gonna matter. Sorry, I didn't think about it because I'm gonna use black underneath. If I was gonna do that, I'd use a white pearl or a pearl. I didn't think about it before I just done it. So for that one, and I don't, I don't have the plastic ready and I'm not gonna hold you guys up. I do have a gold though. Let's do that gold around that kill dot. We can do that. A 
Again, just paint it in there. Paint that gold in now. Put some up on the head. Try not to get too much on the brush because it does go crazy. You get too much. Man, got way too much, but you get the gist of it. We're going to blow that excess off. All right, so top, we have a little perch pattern. Don't miss a lot better. We just pushed in some purple, gold, and a little kill dot. And the bottom is our hyper shift powder. So, once we've got everything painted, or I say painted, brushing in, this is a single cavity mold, so we'll inject each one independently. And I just spit. Having a day. Now I'm having a good day. I can't complain. Great day today. We heated this plastic earlier to have it sort of ready. And it is not ready. So we'll pop it back in real quick. And these are things you can do. I don't really sell this type of bait because number one, the time in it. Uh, I make them for myself. I have made some, especially that perch pattern. Uh, the four, the open pours from Angling AI now, I was pouring a lot of those, and they are very time-consuming. Excuse me while I grab one of these molds for you. Oh! Getting around a lot, but I'm walking without crutch. Uh, normally, we'll do them in these. These are your open pours. This is the four-inch. By Angling AI, you can have them with the hook slot or without. And you can do the same thing there. And what's great about these, you can put them on a heat source. I have a griddle, just an old cheap griddle from Walmart, that uh, I'll put the molds on and heat them. Uh, the best guy to watch for that, World's Worst Fishing, uh, Chris Jones, I'm sure a lot of y'all already watch him, but uh, he does amazing work with them. Basically everything he does, but These are just injectables that I can do throw in my tackle box and be ready to go. A lot of trailers I'll do that way, especially off the back of our umbrella rigs, but I do those for me. I don't do them, again, for orders or whatever. And then once we've got them painted, put our mold back together. When you shoot this color into here, since we're not going to introduce a heat source, you gotta shoot it pretty hot because you want that outside shell or the skin coat that you poured, you want it to bond. Uh, it's not gonna bond as good as like when you cook it in, in the open pours. So again, that's why I do these for me and not for customers. Give it about 10 more seconds. I want it a little hotter. And we're gonna inject them. Again, we're just using these little Pearl X powders you can get from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I don't know where else. All these uh, other powders you can get um, from Amazon, these resin companies. Thanks to them, there's a lot more of these Pearl powders with some cool color effects to them. They are a lot more readily available. Like I said, we're gonna inject this hotter. That is, uh, we're at 340, and that's really where I want it to be, because I, you don't like, I don't like to inject them that hot usually because you get problems out of your baits, but sometimes you have to. And this is one of those times. So we're just going to draw up. I have some black and blue from our molten crawl that we just made in the uh, nids and that we made crawls out of the other day. And I'm just injecting them like normal. Nothing crazy, nothing unusual. I'm 
Make sure they're topped off. These have these don't draw down that bad because they're single cavity. And I guess smaller baits. But uh, so normally I'd fill it with a white or a straight black. That's our black with blue flake that we used in our molting crawl. So there's no reason to make up a bunch of new plastic just for that. So we're gonna let these sit for just a minute and let them pour them really hot. Or hotter than usual. You see how quick the plastic starts to set up on the outside of the mold? Pull it down just a hair. As usual, I take all this little extra plastic and I put it back in there. I don't know why, but save plastic a little bit. It may not even be worth keeping, but I keep it. We're going to take our little nets off and we're going to see what we got going on. Again, I didn't make them real pretty because I would sit here for 15, 20 minutes getting little details using these little real fine paint brushes. I mean, real fine. Uh, I'll use the bigger one if I'm just trying to throw in some colors, but just some cheap uh, paint brushes, nothing, you know, that you would do artwork with, really. I just get the cheap, whatever they are, a dollar for a pack or whatever. I'm looking at notifications on my phone, make sure my dad hasn't called. All right, let's unveil them. We'll see if they're bad or good or whatever. Not too bad for a quick deal that we just did to play around with. But some of them came out on one side, one on the other. These are some of what you'll be left with. That's our pearl powder that we did on the end. Again, I just filled them in with that black. So you can do white make it look more realistic white on the bottom maybe a dark green on top but the darker you go the better it's going to show the effects especially on those those powders that's our little so-called perks that we painted and this is what happens when you put too much powder in there you have to go back and clean your molds off to get all this powder off but no big deal We'll chunk them in there. Wash them up. There's our powder that we used. You can see the flake coming in from underneath. Normally I wouldn't have flake in it, but we're just trying something real quick. But it gives, gives you a great, gives you, it gives you a great, great effect, man. Again, you can draw your little patterns on there or paint them on there. And to be honest with you, that would catch just as quick as any other perch pattern that was greatly done. Remember this one, we did a kill dot, but it sort of got erased out because I had so much powder on there before, but that's the gold. I love to do like a golden shiner with that gold color, that Pearl X powder. And this was just the, uh, bunch of extra plastic on there and that was just the purple and you can see what the light does to it just a great effect that you can get with your injection molds and not have to deal with the open pores so it's something that I do for myself um, because you will have what they call A little bit of cold, not cold cracking, but you'll see where the pour maybe wasn't as even because I was just pouring it in there and letting it run. Usually I'll take my heat gun and put the heat gun to that plastic to firm it out, smooth it out, and you won't have those little lines in there. And to be honest with you, I don't have many, there's one. You'll get a line just what, that's that plastic that was inside the clear coat that we poured in. Just gives it a little ripple look. There you go. You can see it now, I think. But anyway, a lot quicker than using the open pour molds that we use. Uh, we'll put these on a heat source 
capsule it just like we did those, paint them in, or you can <clears throat> pour your colors just piece by piece. If you've got four or five colors you want, you can hand pour those as well. They are time consuming, so they're not cheap. I wouldn't think so for anybody, but just great effects that you can get out of your injection molds. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm gonna actually throw these tomorrow on uh or I throw them. We're gonna troll on an umbrella rig. And I'll bet you money that gets bit. And that's gonna get bit. For sure. Guaranteed. That'll get bit too. They'll all get bit. What am I talking about? So hopefully we'll have some uh, video footage of fishing tomorrow. Hopefully uh, we used Angling AI. Angling AI. I talk too fast sometimes. 3.8 inch rip wrap. I like to do it in a smooth cavity. Nothing ribbed like the uh, ripper or something along those lines. Oh, you won't get, golly. You won't get quite the effect in a bait that is uh, ripped, rippled like that. Can't use it on those. I mean, maybe you can, but to me it wouldn't give a great look. So, anyway, just something that I do for myself and thought it was maybe something you'd like to see. I hope you did want to see it, and I hope that it helped somebody out. And I appreciate you watching. So, if you don't mind, give me a like and comment, man. And I, I'm in love with these. I'm glad the guy asked for them. That was, that's the molten crawl that we made the other day. We just did the uh, core shot. Blue highlight on the outside, the black with blue flake on the inside. Looks really good. I did a short showing them a little better outside in the natural light. But um, anyway, I appreciate it, guys. I appreciate you watching. I hope that helps you out. And you may already know it, may not, but it's something cool to do, have some cool effects, have some cool baits. Again, thank you. Have a good day, and uh, let's go catch some fish. See you.